I've often wondered, Zach, uh, you know, when I talk to fans that root for Kansas State or Stanford or Purdue, you know, what's what's the mindset going into the season? Because, you know, realistically, you're not winning a national championship because we're used to covering the teams and really spotlighting those teams that that's all there is. We, we're going to win the conference. We're going to win the national championship. Ohio State, Clemson, Alabama, Georgia this past season. That, that's that's the goal. That's the aim. Then you've got this tier of programs where it seems like on occasion it's possible. It, it's, it's a stretch, but it's possible. Wisconsin, Iowa, Penn State, Notre Dame. I know that they're at slightly different levels, but you can scan the country and go to Oklahoma State and other places. Uh, Kirk for. Ferentz has tr- had a tremendous run at Iowa going all the way back to 1999, by far the dean of Big Ten coaches, and his, his program wins consistently. Yeah. But they are like stuck in this eight and four deal. They have, by any metric, Zach, deplorable quarterback play. <laughs> and they're like everybody's in the transfer portal looking for quarterbacks, and they just sit pat. And they're like 110th in the nation in passing by any metric, not just passing yardage, but, and this has been going on for years. And just, I heard a comment out of him the other day at his national signing day news conference, where he was kind of defending the offensive lack of production and basically kind of sizing up his team against uh, the rest of the big 10. And because they're fifth in wins in the big 10 over the last five years, he's trumpeting that as being, you know, a measure of success. And just there are certain programs, and I'm going to throw some out from the Big Ten, and Iowa would be the first one, that it just seems as though they're in this comfortable position as a top 20 to 25 team, and they're not striving for more, at least under his leadership. Yeah, it's 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 interesting. I mean, that is kind of how Kirk Ferentz has always been, right? He's that that nine and three benchmark is is their you know is their bar for success and that's what that's what he's aiming for that's what he's trying to do trying to get to indianapolis i I don't even think winning the big 10 is overly important to him because he knows he has to face an ohio state team or or a michigan team like we saw last year so i think that's just it's it's unfortunate because as once you've reached that level at some point you would expect a head coach or a program to push to say let's elevate and try to take that next step and kirk frentz has always been complacent with nine and three and kind of in their in their role in the national landscape and he doesn't really push to to go higher than that and you just hit the nail on the head it's one thing if you can't recruit a quarterback out of high school because you're in Iowa for all the reasons right it's hard it's a hard place to recruit to you certainly nowadays with NIL and the transfer portal you could get a deal put together for a transfer quarterback in a minute and that's what I was missing as a quarterback maybe some offensive skill everything else they've been solid I mean year in year out run game offensive line, defense, everything. They're just a couple skill kids and a, and a decent quarterback away from making a push to maybe beating Ohio State and winning a Big Ten or or even flirting with the playoffs. They haven't even been close to flirting. 